Fun Show. I'm Kira, and this is Mike. Today is July 7th. 7th. I knew this. I was just testing him. We are doing something unique this evening. Uh, what are we doing tonight? Well, we're not eating. No, we aren't. We usually aren't eating about this time on Mondays. No, we, but there are a lot of nice restaurants around us. We could really? Go, and the police stations across the way there. We're going to go eat at the police station? Well, I don't know. They have a Coke machine in there or something. Really? That's yeah. that's a first date? You would take me on a first date no, to the I Coke machine at the police station? Below, really? Yeah, yeah. I'll get you a pizza down below. All right. Fine. You like that. <laughs> what do we have today? Uh, Give us a topic before we a, tell uh, them more. We're going to tell, I want you to tell everybody about next week. Next week. Okay. Where, this, where are we this week? We are in front of the Brookline Public Library. This is our first on-the-road show. We're going to be doing this throughout the summer, uh, which we're mixing things up a bit. And next week, we are going to be at the Brookline Teen Center interviewing a teen and on their thoughts about the Teen Center and its programs. So that'll be July... Somebody. The 11th. I don't know. 11th, is that what it is? Oh, anyway, next Monday. It'll be next nine, Monday. No, it's uh, 7, 14. It's all good. All next right. Monday. Uh, now, Judy, our executive director for the station, she set these programs up. It's a great, big, new, exciting. Judy is something special. Uh, yeah, it's a great, big, new, exciting approach to what this, this community station and they used to call it access, so, but okay. Now it's big. It's innovative. Innovative. Big, innovative. Uh, big innovative. Okay. Okay. So, so we're gonna now, have we're so, gonna have a guest in a little bit, but for yeah. now they need to listen to us yeah. talk about current events. Now, what do I, you have? I have a uh, my, my uh, grandsons and their parents that kind of? were coming. Would usually come to visit us. Okay. But they're not coming, which is not unusual because the it costs more money this oh, year. Oh, yeah. Really? Uh, yes. Why? Well, the airfare is more expensive. Where are they coming from? London. Oh, that is expensive. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah. yeah. And uh, my son-in-law, I better not, I won't say anything to. No, we're not. Is, no, we're not doing demeaning. anything. Nothing I don't disparaging want to say, no. today. I like, so they were going to come, and they're not coming. So what well, are you going to do they with might your come. time? They might come later, but okay. they do come. It's my like daughter okay. likes to rent a, a boat in the harbor. Oh, that'll be or nice. Up in the Cape, someplace. Which I, we you used see, to do pay you sleep for and it. stay on the boat. I don't. To, I mean, they, the family they does. Do. Okay. They do. The That's excellent. It is. It's interesting, and and the boat is moving while we're trying to eat a, a spaghetti dish or something. So you don't really like the boat. I don't like eating on a boat. I didn't in World War II, and I don't like it now. Uh, I was. You know, understandable. Uh, with troop ships, they were. Uh, not not okay? pleasant places, okay. but that, that's okay. Fair enough. Okay. Wait, let's let's pick a uh, happy uh, 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 yeah, event. What do we right, have well, here? What do we got here? We got here something about the sale of nice of legal retail <laughs> marijuana. This is a happy subject for that's many a happy, people. That make a lot of people laugh and jump and and smile and, and uh, there are worse things in the world they, than that. They're going to be opening shops legally in Colorado and Washington, but. The, the people who have these shops are worrying. Product. Yes. They're going to run they, out of products. Well, they run out. They think there's going to be big lines of men and young men and women. Or it could be old men and women too. No, it's no. definitely going to be young men and women getting Simmerod it for their says grandparents it could be, it and could stuff. Could be uh, old people too, because old people <laughs> need a fi uh, well. It, no, I was going to say fix, but I won't say that. <laughs> I yes, won't we say don't that. use that term. No, they're, they're, you need medicinal recuperation. Or, or a jump. Jump. A, yeah, jump. I don't think marijuana gives you a jump. I had a sister-in-law. She's passed, passed on. And she used to... I, the first time she gave us these brownies in her house. <laughs> and the brownies... Here we go. And I was really feeling good. You just didn't know why. I didn't know why. I says, these are delicious. And she Best says, they brownies. ought to be. They're made with marijuana. So Excellent. Go, oh, Lucky oh. you. What an adventure. Well, after that, I, I said, no, I don't want this anymore. Oh, you no. became a prude okay. all That's in it. one moment. You're like happy and then, oh. And then, I, and then I met these, I had these police detectives who used to visit the school that I was in in, in, in the city in Boston. And they were, te were telling me all the time about the people that they were picking up. With, uh, well, let's. I don't want to even get into that anymore. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on. Let's move on to another topic another then. Another topic, okay. Uh, 
uh, Obama holds on to oh, his funny. weekly radio chat. Did you know that? He, he does no. Saturdays, he does a radio chat. I had no Sometimes idea. They, they, now they videotape it, too, I think. It's pre-recorded. What does he chat about? Well, yeah, we don't know, really. Even his staff doesn't know what he's going to come up with. She does one, too, his wife. Good for them. Yeah, it is I good. like both of them. And I, she uh, got us onto this diet thing for kids. Yes. She put the, made that garden, you know, and uh, in the she's back. She's making off. a difference. Yeah, she's. I, th I like her. I like them both. I do, too, very yeah. much so. I think and, they get a bad rap a lot of times. Well, down south, they're not happy with them, I I'll, don't think. No. Well, I'm going to not say anything disparaging. Now they got a guy named Robert McDonald. It's a very he, common he, name. Yeah, he was the, uh, he's with, he what used to be the CEO of Procter Gamble. Okay. You know what that is with yes. the perfume, soap. And everything. They're, they're into and everything. everything. Yeah. And he had that job he was a t for several years. He's still a young man. Obama, President Obama picked him okay. to replace uh, this, uh, this guy who um, has been the uh, acting director of the VA. Oh, wow. He, Why, what made him special for the job? Well, uh, he thinks because he's somebody who's done all this stuff with business and had a, had a workforce of about 120,000 people, Procter okay. Gamble, everywhere, all over the world. He can handle this job. Gotcha. But I don't know about that. No? I'm talking to vets over at the uh, JP Hospital this morning. What do you do over there? I'm sick over there. Oh. I'm to see me. And so you're not over there entertaining them with your no, musical no, abilities? I, I could be. You yeah. could be. You could go do harmonica and yes, piano at the same time. Yes, I used time. to have a guitar, which I might bring on our show. You have to, uh, especially if the piano's yeah, down yeah. and for these moments. I think a string is missing, but I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll work. <laughs> you give it to me, I'll get but it. But anyways, this guy you. McDonald isn't a doctor. Okay. The, the vets seem to feel he should be a doctor. That's not okay, a, so that he's... isn't a bad idea. I, I think that's worthwhile. And and uh, doctors have a feel for these things that the vets are complaining about. We'll see. But I don't know. He's got the job, and we'll see how long he All goes. All right, we'll see what it. happens. What do okay. you got next? Okay, well, what do we got next? We got we got uh, something called a, a rewalk. Argos High Rewalk. I started talking to you about that before. Oh, is this the um, the robot robotics to help machine? Yeah. People who can't walk walk. Men and women who are paralyzed, they cannot walk. Okay. Wow. Oh, great. And they put this forty-four pound outfit on their legs and hips and back okay. and, then and so, something on their on their head and and they can actually walk okay because it, it's it has these uh, it uses computers and electric motors <laughs> excellent okay and they, and they have a, how like, expensive is it it's like 20 bucks uh, a little more than 20 bucks actually <laughs> the price is sixty nine thousand five hundred dollars $69,500. Yeah, but if you buy, if you had one of those little carts that you see in the, uh, the handicapped people driving around the city on these ha on these little carts, electronic yeah, things. Yeah. And those are very expensive also. I bet. Yeah. I've always wanted to ride around on one of those. Okay. I, I bet, I wish Arch was here so he could tell us about any experience he had riding around I'd, in motorized cars. Arch would need a big car. He would. Yes. He would. Now, if you stopped My feeding him donuts. Every Monday. I didn't give him a donut last week. No, you didn't. No, I, I, you know what? I saw, I saw donut exchange. Well, he, he brought, he brought that young woman with him. He did. His, uh, his assistant. His, his secretary. Assist yeah. Who makes, keeps his appointment book. Yes. He brought her. Well, she should have been on the show. We should have she should, introduced her. She could her have been on the, the show. Yeah, I told Rini about. She's a her. nice person. She is a nice person. And Arch definitely needs. A person. And I offered her a donut, and I think she got one later. Okay. Yeah, she came She on. did, actually. Yeah. I recall the donut. Okay. So now we're going to move on to something more interesting. Hobby <laughs> Lobby, you know? Hobby did Lobby? You read about that? Yeah. Hobby Lobby <laughs> no. is a company like, well, it's easier than hunting on my that own, so. brought a case to the Supreme Court, a very <laughs> serious <laughs> case. <laughs> they have people who are employees. Uh, uh, 
women, and the women have uh, want want these the pill that you can take before or after. Okay. And uh, is that the morning after yeah, drug you're you know, referring and, and to? And if they need, if people, then it was the, the issue of, of if one of them. So what's the problem? Wanted a. Um, a, an abortion, yes. perhaps. Most well, they people say know what the morning after is. Their, their religion, the guys who own Hobby Lobby, okay. is opposed to that, Dad, giving out or like, uh, providing the resources <laughs> for these people, to, to ha these women, to have these. Um, and what is Hobby Lobby? What's their power? It, it's a store. It the uh, it's a store one. called Hobby Lobby. That's the name of the store. Well, they just need to I'm, shut down that store. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, uh, End of story. That's it. There's a lot Moving of people on. don't like it, I'll tell you. Okay. Hobby Lobby? They Especially like not it. in this state. We don't appreciate that. No, they don't like that. And uh, that somebody, uh, a young lady over there said, yeah. To bring up swimming with the sharks, with, with sharks, you, you safe can be or safe sorry. or sorry. I don't, you know. I think to each his own. If you want to swim with sharks, that's your gamble. They have I'm the, not going to take they that gamble. Uh, uh, they? they have a contest. Do they? They have a contest out on, on um, Martha's Vineyard or out there on the other island, which the biggest shark. That, that was part of that movie. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what was the shark movie that we Jaws. saw? Jaws. Jaws. Yeah. That, that ruined was, sharks yeah. for everybody. I know. I, I didn't mind. I didn't. Oh no, no, not sharks. The ocean. Yeah. Well, Who could swim in the ocean after watching scared. Jaws? They, they didn't want I to think go in the 80 water. percent of the people stopped swimming in the ocean. Reenie had a sister who played a small role on, on the beach there. Really? Yeah. She was nice. on, a, on a beach with all when, with all with all the people on the when, beach. Yeah. When they ran because there was a shark warning. And they all left the beach. She was one of the women. I think so. How old was she? Well, I don't know. It was then, shot then she the might 70s, have been about 40, okay. 35, 40. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, okay. Now, the thing we haven't talked about is the World Cup. Um, where are we at with the World Cup? I'm not sure, but I think we have to cut to a quick break before we bring on our guest, and then we will resume talking about the World Cup. It's windy out here, everybody. This is our. We're going to just not worry about it? I'm no, not going to chase it? We won't worry it. about it. I'll get it. All right. Okay. So I don't know when we're going to cut away. When, when, when are we uh, bringing her on? One, one, we have one, another one minute. minute? Like, so, know. well, you know what? I'm just, I'm revealing that there is a scene hey, going on on the other side going of out the like that? commercial happening. Yeah, why? Well, I think the commercial happened. Well, um, well with it. <laughs> I see you. Come look at Mr. Feather. Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. They already mic me, so I'm all set. On an all-new Marissa and Rocco, Marissa finds herself backed into a corner. Hi, I'm talking about the old-fashioned girls' night at your place. At my place? We can all play robot domination. No, we don't want to play robot domination. Why can't you understand that? Why can't there just be some way for me to upload it into your stupid G.I. Joe brain? I found tons of info on sleepovers, and I think I fashioned a pretty good one for you. Complete with pizza <laughs> and a Netflix cube full of horror movies and romantic comedies. But something may be wrong. You didn't notice all the glitching? The glitching, that's what he used to do. Find out what happens in this all-new Marissa and Rocco on Big T. Nice Democracy here. is not a spectator sport. Yes, no I'm Margaret now. Bush, president <laughs> of the League of Women Voters of Brookline. The League is a nonpartisan organization of women and men that operates at the national, state, and local levels, encouraging the informed and active participation of citizens in government. Over the past six months, our local league has sponsored a forum on gun, gun violence and co-sponsored one on mass incarceration. We've conducted voter registration drives and candidate forums, and we publish a town-wide voter's guide every year. Find out more at lwvbrookline.org. You can make a difference. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. OK, 
Okay. All right. All right. Welcome back to the fun show <laughs> where we are having so much fun. Our guest has arrived, Miss Robin Brenner. She is, what are you at? What is your role at the book? You have a title? I am Thank a, you. a reference I, and teen librarian. I'm mainly known as the teen librarian, so I work with teenagers. Cool. Every, everything to do with teens and programs and their collection. I do but do you them. have books in here? Of course. Okay. <laughs> That's very important. He needs to yeah, know these things. Because okay. I was worrying if everything was computerized. No, no. There's no? some computerized, but, Definitely but we have some computer, still more books. But I'd still say the majority is books. <laughs> so. Majority of books. Mm -hmm. and nice. You got some kind of a, what's that program? It's the, the summer reading program mm -hmm. that you're doing uh, for teens and adults. Yes, we started it last year, and now we have the second year started up over the summer. Um, we usually start when school ends, but it's a way to do a summer reading program for teens and for adults. Um, most people know of summer reading programs for children, but there's no reason to stop once you hit either your teens or True. your adult years, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and it's just a fun way to keep track, to share recommendations, and to have the community really talk to each other over the summer about what they're reading. Excellent. Are the kids that walk in, or are the kids that the parents are bringing in? I mean, both. Both. Yeah, I know. Because I think it's more teenager and adult than young kids, right? Is that yes. the goal kids, of kids this? Kids will be brought by their parents, whereas teenagers and adults, you have to pull them in. You have to bring them into the program. So that's partly my job. Um, but it's the idea of just getting them to read for fun and that consider all the different kinds of reading. So we count listening to books. We count oh, reading anything, reading a newspaper, reading a book, reading a longer form, anything. How are they monitoring this? You said you it's it's self-reported, so it's honor system. Okay. Wow. But they re they report time. <coughs> so it's however long you spent reading. Every 15 minutes, you get another chance in our raffle. So Excellent. Our prizes. So okay, so that's <laughs> how that works. You have for each 15 minutes, you get a mm -hmm. chance in the raffle. Yep. So if you have the most minutes, your you odds of yep. okay. And if you write a review, you get another <coughs> chance. So there's like an extra bump. <coughs> what if someone stayed at the card filing system? What? Sorry? In terms of the card catalog? The card file. You, what you are still you have the card filing? No, system? they don't no, have the card we, filing something. That shows you how old I am. Yes, See, I I you know now. they don't. <laughs> well, I like the card filing that system. My, one of my first jobs was to type up the cards. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. But that's, that's, that's gone. Yes. Yeah, I mean, there's not, yeah. except somewhere down do south. Down them? south, they have what? the card filing system. Yeah, small libraries. What did you do with the those? Most of them, I think, librarians took. <laughs> really? Good. You know, or bought, you know, from their libraries. Uh, they wanted. Too bad. I would love to have a card catalog in my house. I, 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 ran a, cool. I ran a school years ago, and mm -hmm. one of the rooms in this school, the school, the previous principal used it as a storage area. Mm -hmm. It was a great big area with furniture and chairs mm -hmm. right. and all kinds of reading equipment. For mm -hmm. in those days, they had they, oh, Anyways. I reopened this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Oh. My parents as volunteers. Mm -hmm. And it was a, the kids loved it. Yeah, like a reading room? Yes. Good for but, you. But that was, for me, that was a way to get them into this. And sure. then about a, a block away from us, from the school, was a small branch library in Jamaica Plain. Mm -hmm. And I wanted them to go there a class at a time. I do tours all the time. I yeah. do tours for sixth graders all through the school year. And they get to come in an hour early and see well, the get, library. Do you get them so. to fill out those forms so they can get a card? Sure. Or, yeah, yeah, we do that ahead of time. I That's show them cool. the entire library. We talk about everything we do. We have a lot of programs that we run for them, too. So I was in East Boston running a school out there. And, and that school had a bus. Mm -hmm. What are they from the Boston mm -hmm. Public Library? Like a bookmobile? Oh, a bookmobile. A bookmobile. That's yeah. what it'd be called. Yeah. Came yeah. came once a week, and uh, we gave the kids. We had the librarian come in and give the kids a rundown. Sometimes I think we should just take a book a book truck and go to the local parks and just be like, have a book. <laughs> that would be <laughs> you know, great. That's that. a great idea. With all the books, library cards. There are a lot of people that have um, book bikes. At yeah. This point. Book That's bikes. Okay. And people Maybe donate books all the time, sure. too. Yes. That would be a perfect yeah. thing to give away. Yeah, we'll leave the rolling book sale for that. The Friends of the Library raise money for the library that way. And that's how we run most of our programs. Excellent. So. I wanted to ask, what are the prizes for the raffle? Well, we have um, gift bags that we do. So usually we go to the local bookshop. So we go to Brookline Booksmith and the Children's Bookshop, and we make themed bags. But we include all sorts of fun things, both from the library and, and like, pens and whatever we can think of. What if they want a book? Excellent. 
But no, it'll books as well. It's mainly books. <laughs> it's mainly books and toys. Yeah. All right. But a few little other things. Keep Nick, track of your books. Do dads, yeah. knickknacks. You know, notebooks. Um, but we've had a lot of different themes. Last year we had one that was all like adult kind of bestsellers, and then we had one that was teen oriented. Obviously, happily a teen won that one, so that was good. Excellent. Um, yeah. We did nonfiction, fiction, anything we can think of that we think will be attractive that year. So. Well, how's uh, are you expecting more people this year than we last so, year? Yeah, we, our goal is always to get higher numbers every year, and we've been building for the past number of years. Um, our program last year did get a lot more teens than we had the year before, about twice as many. So that was Excellent. great. And then um, the adult one we'd never done before, so we had 90 adults, and that's a lot for us. Do they, get, do they get the same prizes, or is the adult raffle different well, than the kid like raffle? The, the weekly prizes are, are gift, gift cards to local businesses and eateries, so you might a get... A free sandwich? You know, yeah, you might uh, get okay. ice cream. So do you example. raffle each That's week? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not all through the summer, and right. then there's a big raffle at the end. Right. It's weekly raffle. Well, we do the weekly raffle, and then there's the grand prizes at the end. Okay. So. And What's we're going to hopefully prize? have a special event at the end. Um, for we're hoping to do a what um, we're considering an edible book festival um, where we make things themed on books and everyone comes in and votes on the best one and then we all get to eat it. <laughs> so that sounds fabulous. Uh, the town gets to eat it, not necessarily us. <laughs> the town gets to eat it. Yep, whoever comes. Whoever comes. Mm -hmm. What day? I'm not sure yet. We haven't set the date. It's probably at the very end of August. Oh, the okay. Finish. So yeah, you're you're gonna you're gonna have yeah. to get I'll in come on by. that. We were thinking but I'm not certain. Okay. Anywhere there's food, Mike shows up. Yeah, so yeah by the way, the sun good. just came out. I know. Oh, no. yeah. This is amazing. We thought that we were having a tornado <laughs> before, and we could have had one. But We almost had a tornado, but didn't we? We talked God out of it, and yes, we exactly. didn't get it. Hopefully okay. we diverted All right. that. Well, he, was, he, was kind of, he was kind. Okay. He was. He was good to us. We were worried that we were going to get rained out, yeah. so this uh, do is the kids, uh, Do the kids talk about sports much? Sure, yeah. There's all kinds of interest. Like the Sox in last place, the Red Sox? I don't hear much about specifics from the kids. They don't necessarily talk to me about that. They might look for players. They look for books. Oh, they look for individual players. Yeah. All right, that's okay. good. Or yeah. some sports history. But yeah. Nice. Okay. So. Have yeah. you been following the World Cup? Not particularly. Good. I've been hearing about it. Okay. I kind of can't help hear about <laughs> it. No, definitely. <laughs> One of our camera, this a camera fellow here, he, he loves the World No, who likes the World Cup? You. Doesn't everybody like the World Cup? Shimron likes the World Cup. likes the World Cup. Shimron likes the World Cup. At least yeah. Yeah, they, 80% of the world loves the World Cup. Say, oh, we got we got a signal from... Uh, oh, is that... Oh, I know what that means. What does it mean? I think it means we have five more minutes. Oh, good. That's <laughs> I have, I've been having trouble reading Ning's signal this evening, but I think she's getting the hang of it. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what do you think? Uh, I don't have to ask you this question, but it's a kind of serious question. What's, go, what's going on in Iraq and in the Ukraine, but Iraq, we were there for, I don't know, 11 years, 10 or 11 years, and mm -hmm. a lot of casualties among our troops and the civilian population there. And do you think we, we have already deployed around over 300 um, special forces there? Mm -hmm. Do you think we should be getting involved with that thing, redeploying troops there? Or, or would you leave, would you give up your library job what to I go? What I say is, if someone <laughs> asks me that as a librarian, I can give you all the information you want about it. Um, <laughs> we don't tend to have opinions when we're in the library. You're not. You don't. Oh. Weigh in. I, you know what I? You know what I see a lot of that's good. art exhibits <laughs> here at the library. I think that's ooh, art exhibits. Yeah, so, you have transition them. from yeah. Afghanistan. I mean Iraq yeah. to art exhibits. Yeah. This yeah. is this the, is the, the show. Well, we okay. We have a lot of kids art upstairs that's talking about yeah. world events, so it all works. <laughs> Back in. Well, there's two things going on in the room upstairs. We had our, our fair today, um, that's the retro technology fair that was to start summer reading. Um, so that was all pieces of technology from about the past 100 years. Okay. And we have Excellent. cameras, computers, um, movie cameras, and all sorts of audio equipment. We have an old Victrola all the way through wow. to a boombox from the 80s. I'm which, coming. You know, that's you can cool. You're have to. Yes, we're going to have to have before we leave. the library, too. But it's all in one place right now. Right now, it's all So we we got to yes. check it out before we leave. We're not yes. leaving without seeing it. You know, in our other show that we do over at the studio, we do a 10-minute or 11-minute play every week. Mm -hmm. Would that fit in with, with the kids, for the kids here, to see a play where three people were Absolutely. reading parts? Yeah, yeah. We could work on that. Wait. 
We, we could we could get you into You think that. you think so? You think those you think one of those plays are really? Are, I have I have a, have one for have kids? a lot of plays for, 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 for kids. kids? Yes. Are you sure? And y'all gonna it's, play one of the kids? I, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Because yeah, I'm usually welcome. not sure what I'm no, playing I'm, I'm, during serious. any of those plays. We have these short plays which for their ex uh, the amount of extension they want to pay to with the play to this. They, they might be interested in something Maybe. like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, that's something we're going to think about in the future. Okay. Sure. Excellent. We, uh, we have oh, oh, uh, we got two minutes. a signal. Now, uh, what's, what's one last what do you thing wanna bring we want to share? Robin, can well, you tell someone, us one yeah. last? It's Robin's turn, Mike. Okay, okay Robin. Robin. Give one plug for Brookline Public Library and tell the public something amazing that they should know about it. Is. Um, well, I would say don't rely on the stereotypes. Libraries are no longer the quiet, kind of sedate places. We're full of all sorts of things. Um, we don't expect to shush you anymore. I Ooh. almost never shush anybody, unless I shush myself. <laughs> um, but we have a lot of fun just running all sorts of programs and acting as a community center at this point. That's really what libraries are and a way to give people access to information. We're also one of the last places for free Wi-Fi. So, you know, ah. we have a lot of computer access, a lot of help that way. Um, we've helped a lot with the recession and getting people in to help them find jobs. Um, we really take our job seriously. I spend my whole day having people ask me questions and get off at the end. You sound like you really enjoy it. I do, That's yeah. fabulous. Yeah, well, thank you so much for coming sure, on to our show me. today. Yeah, this was our first on the road show, so it was a bit of an experiment. I, th I think we pulled it off. Yes. We got the beaming sunlight. I know this is beautiful. <laughs> and next week we're going to be at the Teen Center. So oh, excellent. if you so have, is that where it is? Because I was about to Google the, it. We might do the, to the tornado over at the next place. We're at. Oh, we're going to draw a tornado <laughs> wherever we go. Uh, we're ready. Uh, so how many seconds? What do we got? Are you going to sing Goodnight Irene? No, we're not, we won't sing it. We'll just say Goodnight Irene. Okay, we'll make sure we say Goodnight Irene. Goodnight Irene. Irene. Good night, Irene. Irene. Okay. Good night, Irene. Are we okay. out? I think, and we're going to have a. I don't think we're, we're out we yet.